Hello and thank you for joining. Today's topic is going to be the 16th Excel 2013 tutorial and I'm going to share with you today an introduction and an overview on conditional formatting. I wanted to point out all of these tutorials will be posted on my website which is www.10minutetrain.com. What I've done here is I've created a spreadsheet with first name, last name, and then quarterly sales statistics along with their total sales. And so the first thing that I'm going to do is I want to highlight a couple cells over here in the total sales column. And what I want to do is point out the ones, the top sellers. So how I'm going to do that is I'm going to go into conditional formatting once I highlight the cells in my area that I want to um, highlight. And I can go over here and do lots of different options here. So I'm going to start with highlight rules. So I can go into highlight cells greater than or less than or between a number or any number of, of uh, options here but I'm going to do greater than for right now you can see it threw in a number here I can go in and wipe that out and I can you know change the number to say 150,000 and I can change the color if I want to I'll just leave it on the this, the default option I'm going to say OK and there you see it has it highlighted those cells that are above a certain number the other thing I can do I can highlight that I'm going to go back into conditional formatting and I can go in. I'm going to do clear rules from selected cells and I'm going to go back in here and the other thing I can do is do top bot top slash bottom rules so I could do the top 10 percent the bottom 10 percent above average below average and so forth so I'm going to go ahead and do top 10 percent you see only one is in that range so I can go over here and I can change that and make it the top you know I can just type in there if I want to let's say we'll do the top 25 percent and there you see two of them are in the top 25 percent so it's dynamic you can go in and change that as you as you would like to so I'm going to go ahead and clear those rules and I am going to now go into the quarterly sales and highlight those and now what I want to do I'm going to go to conditional formatting and there's lots of different things you can do here. Um, you can go in and you can use data bars as an example. If I hover over that, you can see if I choose that, you get a bar depending on how big the number is, how far the bar extends. You can do it in different color formats. You can do different, you know, fills. And you can go into more rules and there's lots of different options here. For example, you can go into format only cells that contain and then you can put in different values here and we move that over um, and there's drop downs here looking for errors looking for blanks looking for within a range of dates as an example and then you can certainly have lots of options here greater than less than equal to and so forth um, so I am just wanted to share that with you and then another thing you can do in here is you can go under conditional formatting and there's icon sets like for example there's a the little like a signal bar you know like a cell phone signal bar um, as an option the other thing you can do is do like directional so I can put these arrows in here and I'll go ahead and click that and you see if the numbers higher it gets a up arrow if it's in the middle it gets the side arrow and if it's a lower number it gets the down arrow so what you can do here is I can go let me go in there and highlight that again so what I can do here is I can go back in here and I can go to conditional formatting and I want to do manage rules and now I want to edit the ranges for these so I'm going to click edit rule and you can see here that when a value is greater than or equal to 67 percent give it the green arrow when it's between 60 when it's less than 67 and greater than 33 give it the side arrow here, the yellow yellow arrow. And when it's less than 33, give it the down arrow. So I can go in here and say, well, what if I want to just show the increasing value when it's greater than 75%? I can just change that value and go ahead and click that and hit that tab and you see what happened. Now it changes uh, the middle arrow to be lower than 75 and between 33. So you can go in here and change these values. You can change the rules here. Um, and that's what I wanted to share with you today. So um, thanks for joining. I hope this was helpful. Take care.